हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हेंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is about the partial COD for WooCommerce plugin in which I will demonstrate the working of the plugin before starting with the setup part let me give you a short introduction to the product If any of the merchants own a WooCommerce store the main concern is that he faces cash on delivery issues caused by fake orders or fraud which ultimately affects the average payment cycle of cash on delivery orders which affects your business To stamp out cash on delivery issues, partial COD for WooCommerce plugin can turn out to be the ultimate knockout solution which will restrict the creation of fake orders. What is partial COD for WooCommerce plugin? Partial COD for WooCommerce is a plugin that assists the WooCommerce merchants to charge a partial amount whenever the customer places the order with the cash on delivery as a mode of payment. thus restricting the creation of fake orders and building the real customer base merchants can charge the partial amount on the basis of product wise order wise category wise shipping wise and much more guys this was all about the product overview and what problem it solves now it's time to see its setup and working part let's understand how to start working with the plugin we are on the wordpress dashboard so let me first explain you how you can install the plugin so for installing the plugin firstly uh, you can get the plugin from the woocommerce marketplace that is partial cod for woocommerce or you can visit the description content we have mentioned the link uh, to the product page so you can visit from there so now let us go to plugins and click on add new so once you have got the zip file so here you can click on upload plugin and here you can choose the zip file and then you can choose a zip file and click on install now so after installing the plugin you can click on activate the plugin and the plugin will be activated so this is how you can activate the plugin so now let us go to the back end settings and see what are the functionalities involved in the partial cod for woocommerce so let us hover on this and click on this we are on the back end settings and uh, we will see what functionalities we can enable to charge the partial amount and restrict the creation of fake orders so here you can see that uh, there is a support link and documentation link so if you want the detailed guide for setup and installation so you can visit the documentation and if you face any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can uh, reach out to us by clicking on this support button the very first field in the general setting is enable partial cod globally so as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button so with this functionality the admin can decide a common partial payment amount for all the products irrespective of the order or applied categories this means like uh, if i if we have decided a partial amount globally so whatever the product like let me click on save then i will explain you in detail a new tab has been added for the global settings so let me click on this so here the admin can decide the global payment type as fixed or percentage so let me click on fixed and decide the global price value as 5 and let me click on save so as you can see that the disclaimer has come setting save so now let us go to the shop page so we are on the shop page and let's select any of the products like let me select this and let me add this to the cart also so let's view the cart So as you can see that I have added two products and let's proceed to check out and when I will uh, choose cash on delivery as a uh, payment method so as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 10 this is because I have selected two products and decided the uh, global price value as rupees 5 uh, for each product so uh, this is uh, uh, totaling amount uh, will be rupees 10 and uh, when I will add more products so like if I will add more one more product so the partial deposit amount required will be rupees 15 so this is how you can set the global price value and enable the partial cod globally and here it is saying that remaining amount is rupees 26 that has to be paid on cash on delivery so here let us select this and here you can enter the upi address and upi handle and like uh, if i select like credit or debit card and when i will click on place order so here you, here you can see that for the partial amount rupees 10 the customer can uh, pay this amount via by this 
uh, as you can see that here it can enter the card details and pay the partial amount so this is how the customer has to pay the partial amount in order to place the order so let us again go back to the backend settings and let us click on general settings the next field is enable partial cod product wise so as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button so as you can see that partial cod globally has been disabled so partial cod globally partial cod product wise category wise and order wise these can be enabled once at a time but partial cod shipping wise and partial cod tax wise these can be enabled simultaneously so as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button for the partial cod product wise so the admin can decide the partial amount or charge the partial amount based on per product so the partial amount will be charged on the basis of different product like if i will uh, click on save and then I have to go to the product section so let me go to the product section and here let me select any of the product so now let me scroll down so as you can see that uh, whenever you will enable uh, the option of partial COD product wise so a new tab will be added as WPS uh, partial COD so let us click on this and here you can enable the checkbox for per product partial payment so uh, by enabling uh, partial COD product wise friendly like here you can select like deposit type as fixed or percentage and here you can decide the amount like if I am deciding like rupees 10 and when I will click on update so now let us go to the shop page and let us select that product t-shirt with logo and let us view the cart and let's proceed to checkout. So uh, let me select the uh, payment as cash on delivery. So as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 10 because from the back end we have decided the amount for t-shirt with logo as rupees 10. If I will click on like rupees 8 and click on update and let me refresh this and let me select cash on delivery. So as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 8. So this is how you can easily decide the partial amount based on different product by enabling the partial COD product wise and can charge the partial amount based on different product. So let us again go back to the backend settings. Next field in the general settings is enable partial COD category wise. So as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button, so the admin can also charge the partial amount based on different product categories. Like if I will click on save and here as you can see that a new tab has been added of category setting. So here, uh, here you can see that here you can uh, decide the uh, payment type as fixed like for uncategorized and for clothing like you can decide fixed and for t-shirt like I am deciding percentage and for hoodies I am deciding percentage and here I can decide like a price value so I am deciding like 10 and it's for 5 and it's again 10 and it's again 10 and accessories I am deciding like fixed and rupees 5 so let me save the action so save so as you can see that uh, I have decided uh, the payment type and the price value for the partial payment for according to different categories and if I want to reset all the payment type and price value I can click on this so all the price value and the payment type will be reset. This is how you can easily decide the partial payment based on categories and if I will uh, go to shop page and uh, let me click on this and let me click on sunglasses and let us view the cart let's proceed to check out and let me select the mode of uh, payment as cash on delivery so as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 5 because from the back end we have decided for the accessories as payment type as fixed and price value as rupees 5 so this is how you can uh, you can enable the partial payment based on categories and charge the partial amount to restrict the creation of fake orders so this is how you can easily set up the partial payment based on category wise product wise or globally so it all depends on uh, uh, your work of your it, it all depends on your store requirements and business needs and you can charge the partial amount as per your requirements so let's again go back to the general settings next field is enable partial cod order wise so uh, the admin also can charge the partial amount based on order like if i will enable this and let me click on save so here a uh, new tab has been added for order settings and here you can select the deposit type as i have explained like fixed or percentage and here enter the amount for partial payment like if i decide like 12 and click on save 
and let us go to the shop page and uh, I have already added one of the product and let me click on this and let me select cash on delivery so as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 12 this is because from the back end we have decided the partial amount as rupees 12 for the order so uh, whatever the order total is so uh, the partial amount will be charged based on the order like uh, for the or for this order the partial deposit amount required is rupees 12 so the customer has to pay rupees 12 uh, with UPI QR code or credit card or debit card or net banking in order to place that particular order. So this is how you can restrict the creation of fake order thus improving your average payment cycle and setting up partial, uh, partial payment uh, definitely helps your WooCommerce store uh, by preventing frauds or creation of fake orders. So let us again go back to the general settings. Let us now see the uh, more uh, mode of partial payment that are enable partial COD shipping wise and enable partial COD tax wise. So when I will enable this, so as you can see that these two can be enabled simultaneously and the admin can choose shipping and tax as a mode of partial payment. So whether uh, you enable like uh, shipping wise, tax wise, order wise, category wise, product wise or globally, the customer is bound to pay that partial amount in order to place that order. So uh, you can choose any of the partial payment method as per your store requirements and can charge the partial amount as per your needs and business requirements. So uh, let us enable this partial COD order wise and click on save. Next field is select user role. So here uh, the admin can decide the roles uh, for which uh, the partial COD will be applicable like if I select admin and click on save. So for now I am the admin of the store and let me go to the shop page and let me refresh this. So as you can see that the partial deposit amount required is rupees 12 because uh, I have selected the partial uh, payment method as order wise and here I have selected admin so if I will uh, remove admin and select customer and let me click on save and let me refresh this and let me select cash on delivery so as you can see that there is no option uh, coming for the partial COD because from the back end I have uh, selected the user role uh, like for the customer like for customer only partial COD will be applicable and for different user role it will not be applicable and if I will remove this, so the partial COD will work for all the user roles. Uh, like if I click on save and now if I will refresh this and select cash on delivery. So as you can see that the partial deposit amount required has come for rupees 12. So this is how you can select the uh, different user role based on your requirement like admin, contributor, customer, a subscriber, shop manager, SEO editor and much more. Next is partial deposit message. So here you can uh, decide uh, or provide a message to the customer which will be shown to the customer when a customer pays a partial amount. So whatever partial deposit message uh, here you will be writing. So that will be shown to the customer whenever he pays that partial amount for that particular order. Next is enable partial payment using coupon. As soon as the admin will click on this toggle button, so a new field has been added like maximum amount of coupon applied for partial payment. So this means the admin from the back end can decide the maximum amount that, that a customer can pay uh, for the partial amount using coupon. Like if I select like uh, rupees two, so the maximum amount uh, or the maximum amount that can be applied through coupon will be two by the customer to pay the partial amount. Uh, so next field is uh, maximum amount for COD and minimum amount for COD. So here, like if I decide like uh, one uh, hundred, and here let me decide. 50 or you can uh, select either one of them like maximum amount for COD or minimum amount of COD. So we have decided the maximum and minimum amount for COD that is 150. So let us click on save and here let us go to the shop page and let's select any of the product and let's view the cart and let's proceed to check out and let me select cash on delivery. So as you can see that there is no option of coming off partial payment because from the back end we have decided the uh, minimum amount uh, for the partial COD to be applicable is 50. Like if we remove this and click on save and now let us refresh this and let us click on cash on delivery. So as you can see that the partial deposit amount required has come 
as rupees 12 so this this is how you can set uh, the minimum and the maximum amount for cod like if uh, the amount crosses rupees 100 so then also the partial cod will not be applicable and here uh, i had written rupees 50 and the order was of rupees 18 so that's why partial cod was not applicable because minimum amount uh, i have decided was uh, rupees 50 so this is how you can set the minimum and the maximum amount for cod next uh, when i will go to the shop page and here as you can see that here it is asking uh, like click here to pay a partial amount using through coupon so this is because from the back end we have enabled the functionality uh, that allows the customer to pay the partial amount using coupon so let's click here so let's apply the coupon code and click on apply code so as you can see that the disclaimer has come coupon code applied successfully and here above you can see that partial deposit amount paid by the coupon is rupees 2 because from the back end we have decided the maximum amount that can be applied through coupon uh, is rupees 2 for paying the partial amount so here it is rupees 2 the partial deposit amount paid by the coupon and the remaining amount is rupees 6 that has to be paid on cash on delivery this was all about the partial COD for WooCommerce plugin by which you can charge the partial amount for the cash on delivery orders choosed by the customers hence acting as a shield for common cash on delivery issues and restricting creation of fake orders and also restriction of frauds that are caused by cash on deliveries. And if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionalities, you can reach out to us and you can also mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.